In this video, I'm going to talk about the two different the two different procedures or the two different types of statistics that you're going to see in this course. The first part of your course focuses heavily on what are called descriptive statistics. I'll just call that descriptive stats. And then later on in the course, even though it's being introdu introduced now, it'll be later on in the course after you get uh, several chapters into the textbook, you're going to be looking at inferential stats. So what's the difference between the two of these? Well, descriptive statistics is, um, let's look at uh, more of the technical definition to start off with here. You use that set of methods or procedures to summarize, organize, and present known data. So let's say, for example, you've conducted a survey, and so you've gone to all of um, all of the different classes that teach statistics at your university, and you've collected, uh, you've asked people what mark they got on the last exam. Now, there could be hundreds, or there could be many hundreds of responses to this. So in order to be able to, prevent, to present your findings to another person, you're not going to want to hand them pages and pages of marks. Instead, what you might do is you might take the average of all of the marks. And so that would be summarizing your known data. So that's one of the methods of descriptive statistics. And it's one of the things you're going to learn to do in the first few chapters of this textbook. So summarizing in averages or describing how much variation there th there is in a single value, that's summarizing, that's descriptive statistics. You might also organize and present the data. So organizing would simply just be um, putting your data into categories or maybe um, organizing or sorting the data from or sorting the marks from the lowest mark up to the highest mark. So that's another method for describing your data, for presenting your data. And then presentation here, this could be in the form of like graphs or tables. Anything that's going to help convey uh, your findings or your results to another person who might be interested. So the key here though with descriptive statistics is that we're finding methods of working with the data that deal with known data. So there's nothing left, uh, there's no questioning here as to what our findings are. We're simply just presenting our findings. That's what descriptive statistics does. It gives you methods to present your findings, either through summary, organization, or presentation. Inferential st statistics, on the other hand, deals basically with educated guessing. In other words, you're going to be performing, you're going to be learning tools in the, in the second half of the course, in the second half of the textbook, where you're going to take your known data, you're going to take your findings that you got from your descriptive statistics, and you're going to use that to make some educated guesses. Um, typically, these are called, these methods are called estimation. There is also hypothesis testing. Now those will be defined later on in the course. We don't really need to get into how those work right now. But the basic idea is this. Let's say you want to be able to describe a population. That's typically what we're what we're going for. That's the goal in statistics is we're trying to describe what a population is doing or what it's going to do in a certain situation. We might be wanting to know uh, who uh, a population will vote for in the next election. So we take a sample because we can't get access to the entire population. It's too difficult to get everybody in the population um, to report on our survey. So we get a sample. So we measure a known sample. So we have known data. So known data works with descriptive statistics. And so we might summarize our results. Let's say that there is a sample um, of people and you ask them, are you going to vote for candidate A in the election or candidate B? Maybe 100 people in your sample say they're going to vote for candidate A and only 20 people say that they're going to vote for candidate B. Now we have a known sample and what we've done is we've organized our data so we've performed descriptive statistics. 
But if we want to say that the population will vote for candidate A on election day, we are no longer working with things that we know. We're not presenting things that we know. This requires an inference. So we're assuming that our sample is going to describe what happens with the entire population. That's an inference. Another name for an inference is a guess, or rather it's an educated guess, because we didn't simply make a wild guess. We took a sample, we got some results, and we're going to assume that our sample properly represents the population. Now later on, when you learn these techniques, techniques of estimation and hypothesis testing, you learn how to, how to quantify how, um, how much confidence you put into your inference. So you might not simply say that population, the population will vote for A. You more likely would say there is a certain chance that the population will vote for A. Maybe there's a larger chance that they'll vote for A compared with those who think that they'll vote for B. So inferential statistics is when you start off with known data, just like descriptive statistics works with known data, but then you take a leap. You make a guess based on your known data about something you predict or you estimate will happen. So inferential statistics, we use, we use statistics, or actually we use known data to either estimate or guess what will, maybe instead of saying guess, I'll say predict. So we use known data to estimate or predict what will happen in the larger population. So that's the difference between descriptive and inferential statistics. Descriptive simply presents known data. Inferential uses known data to make a guess, an estimation or a prediction about what will happen in the unknown population, in the larger population that we're not actually directly observing.